Now what I want to do is, is kind of simulate mid gut transitioning down to low gut. So when I get a mid gut, if this guy just lays there and doesn't do anything, then I got a good chance of, of, of executing my mid gut. What's going to happen a lot of times is as soon as I lock my mid gut up, you're going to see this guy starting to scrape my lock. My hands are going to slip down. Then I got to transition to low gut. So I'm still looking at, at parts of the body I can get squeeze and traction on. So high gut, I got chest. All right, low gut, I got floater rib, or mid gut, I got floater rib, and then low gut, I'm looking hip bone, pelvis area. So I want you guys to go through the whole process, however you're reaching, whatever your reach is, to get your mid gut lock, to get his chest up. You can come to this position, you can come under to the armpit, you can go far side, whatever you've found that works good for you to get your lock, okay? So I'm thinking mid gut the whole way, but what it's gonna do now is, this guy's gonna have to give me a little bit of defense once I get my mid gut. So he starts scraping, scraping, my lock slides down to low gut. Once I get to low gut, I want you to transition to your new lock. Don't stay mid gut on your low gut right now. Okay, we can, we can gut from low gut with, the, with this butterfly lock, but if your, your block gets busted, we can just switch to our low gut. This is what I'm talking about. I lock up my mid gut. I got my butterfly lock. He starts to scrape and he kind of busts my lock up. It'll just roll my lock. And then it'll bust my lock open. Then I just transition to my palm lock. Once your lock gets busted in this butterfly position, it's really tough to get back there. But if my rock lock rolls, then I can just transition to my palm lock. Then I can just slide down to my low gut. So again, we're gonna lift, get to mid gut. I'm trying to lock it down. He's gonna scrape, scrape. My lock gets busted. And then I'm gonna transition to my low gut, kinda, kinda L lock right here. And again, I can go head away, but I really like going head in the hole. Remember, this elbow's blocking on the left side and this knee's blocking as well. So my head's in the hole, this backside elbow really biting on that hip point. Okay, and then I'm popping my hips through and adjusting, okay? So one more time, I want you to go through the whole process. This guy's gotta stay woke and scrape my lock, all right? So I lift, get my lock under, got my mid gut, he starts to scrape and bust my lock. I change from butterfly lock mid gut to, to, my, to my palm lock low gut, okay? Again, everything's still blocking, so he can't set his defense. He'll feel me driving to the left, that knee's coming up and he's, he's setting his defense. Go back straight a little bit. If I get it locked down and I block, then he can't bring that knee up to set his defense, then I can just drive with my palm lock gut, okay? So, bottom guy, mid gut scrape. We're getting our lock busted, transitioning to our side lock, head in the hole or head away, whichever one you want. Questions? All right, halfway fast. This guy's getting better at his defense too, right? So I'm, I'm fighting here, working on it. He scrapes, scrapes, scrapes. Right there. Elbows staying tight, head in the hole or head away. Go.